So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we'll cover this amazing lab so if you are searching for pre-assessment skill badges that by doing one lab you get entire skill badges this is a sheet it is present in the description box of this video now let's start the lab basically you have to click on start challenge and you'll be redirected to the challenge lab now here we have to complete the challenge lab and you'll get the one skill badge without any issue now just click on start lab and if you are completely new to this channel, do like the video and subscribe the channel. Now let's get started. So the first thing is that you have to just open the console incognito window. See like this, you have to just click on this vertex CI. And then first thing you have to click on dashboard. First thing we need to enable all the recommended APIs, right? After that we recommend enable all the recommended APIs. Then we will move forward to the next step. What is the next step? You need to understand the next step is that we have to just open the notebook and many of you are facing issues like files are not showing over there. Do not worry. I will tell you how you can fix it. Here just click on the enable all recommended APIs and wait for some time to get it enabled. And if you're completely new to this channel, do like the video and subscribe the channel because we make some important videos, basically informative contents for you to complete the badges and other programs also. So do subscribe it. And once the API is enabled, come over here. It will show like this only. And here you have to just find the workbench. Okay. Just find the workbench. Click on it. It will take some time. So wait for it. Here you can see the Jupyter notebook is here. Click on it and just reset the notebook. Because many times what happens, we get basically file is missing. So you need to just reset it then you'll be able to complete it now here they have mentioned also let me show you so here you can see if you are unable to just see the file then reset it so we are resetting it before only now wait for it to get idle and then we'll open the jupyter lab so just wait for some time So you see it is idle like this you have to just click on open jupyter lab right just click on the open jupyter lab and it will take some time to get open now one more thing i wanted to share that if you get any kind of error like the website is not loading then you have to just come over here and open the jupyter lab again so just try it and follow as i am doing so that you get full score on this lab so just stay tuned From here, just click on the terminal option, just scroll down and click on the terminal option, right? Just follow as I am doing, you have to just click on it. And now what you have to do, in the description box of this video, I have shared one repository, we will be using that only. So just come over to the GitHub repo, it is present in video description, okay? And in case you haven't liked the video yet, do like it and subscribe the channel. Now just select it over here and just paste on your here and hit enter. Now wait for a few seconds till it gets updated then we have to just run the shells so just come over here here you can see it is updated now just click on it now here you can see the kernel is being connected now if you don't see the kernel you have to just select python 3s kernel how you have to select i am showing you do not worry everything in this video will cover and we are covering step by step so that you don't miss anything so just wait for it. You can see kernel is now idle. When the circle is not filled, it means kernel is idle. When the circle is filled, it means either it is busy or just connecting. So you need to know these concepts. Okay. Once you see all these things are ready, you have to just run the first command. And if you are unable to see the Python 3s kernel, what you have to do, you have to just 
click on it and just from this drop down select it if you are doing any other lab similarly only you have to just select it whatever kernel is mentioned on the lab instruction now just run it and once it is completed we have to just restart the kernel again how we have to restart we have to just run this play button okay you can see next to the clipboard icon there is a play button just like you play pause any video it's like this only so you have to just click on it and you will see kernel is died just click on ok and wait for the kernel to get restored after that we have to run each shell one by one and then we will be able to complete the lab do not worry i am just doing slowly because many of you have said that do the video slowly so that you can understand each and everything whatever i press or whatever i do in this lab now just run each shell one by one and then you will be able to complete the lab so let's run it one by one Now one more important thing I wanted to share, once we complete all these things you can see video is generated and the kernel once gets idle we have to just go to the lab instructions and check the score. Important thing I wanted to share that if you get any time error basically get any kind of error just re rerun the shell okay rerun all shells one by one and just restart the kernel also as I did earlier. You have to just repeat all the steps and simple ones and if you still face issue just restart the lab and do comment down below. Now just wait and check the score as you can see we have done now let me show you how you have to claim the batch okay now here just click on end lab and here you can see the course option okay just click on the course option and here you can see we have got the batch we have got the batch and we are totally done with the lab guys if you face any issue you can let me in the comment section now once you have got the batch you can end the lab and that's all about this video thank you guys have a great day ahead